Right, I'm just going to run through my settings quick. Um, let you know what's going on. I've had a few questions about it, so I'm going to start off with my F1 settings. So I go into graphics settings then. Video mode. Resolution doesn't matter so much. You can have that turned down. Doesn't matter. I keep it in window mode. Anti-aliasing, I've already talked about that. It's probably the most important thing in terms of making it look nice. Dynamic resolution. Keep it off because it just messes you about if you've got it on. Detail preset. Now, I just run VR low pretty much. The main thing that you've got to worry about is probably particles. You can probably have them off because it's just... It, it's just annoying but ultimately if I pull it on if I have it on VR high that seems to me to look worse than VR medium and VR low doesn't seem to make too much of a difference so I just leave it on that ultimately it doesn't seem to make too big a difference to me so it's fine but like that for me let's move on to the VR settings OSD, you got to keep that off because that's just annoying if it's not off. Um, I keep override on, scale factor. I've not really changed any of these settings, so they should be, you should probably have the same. Obviously, the resolution is going to be based on your headset and what you're doing, but I'll have a look at mine. I'll show you the settings for that. So let's do that now. Right, we're going to go into the Steam VR settings then. Now, render resolutions on auto, notifications are on, I don't really, I'm probably going to turn that off actually because they annoy me. Steam VR always on tops, off. Uh, play area, I don't think I have to worry too much about that because I've got request controllers, not bothered messing around with that because I don't use them. Again, the videos. If I go on per application, don't believe I've changed anything. That's mine, so... Uh, yeah, other than that, there's not really anything that needs to change, so that's my Steam VR settings. Right, let's just go into my graphics preferences on the Oculus Quest. That's what I use. Not too much, I use 90 hertz. Have it on 1.3. You can lower both of these if you're um, experiencing any stuttering or anything. But um, I wouldn't run it at 120 hertz on F1 because it's quite demanding, depending on your specs. But 90 hertz and 1.3 time seems to work for me. So that's what I use. Not too much to say there. Now my 3D settings in NVIDIA then. You can see I've pretty much... I don't think there's going to be too much. You have to change. Because I'm probably running pretty much default on this. So if there's anything that you've spotted that you think I probably should change. Well, I might edit the uh, uh, Steam VR values because they're slightly off from my Oculus myself. Test that out. But for me, everything's running fine. And obviously, I'm recording as well. So, right, let's quickly run through my Oculus mirror settings then. What do I use? This is for recording. So, obviously you probably won't be so interested in this i just use 100 percent rectilinear whatever that is right eye only 100 percent 100 percent uh image stabilization keep up right i might change the keep up right I, i'm not sure whether i like have it or not or not i have it on mild don't have override view. So there's not too much that I have, so 
Um, yeah, it is what it is. I can only say that I hope this has helped. If there's anything you want me to ch or you think I should change, then let me know, because obviously we're all after the best performance. I haven't delved really deep into it because I'm quite happy with the performance, but uh, if there's anything I need to know or it needs to change, then yeah, just uh, let me know. But anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching, I suppose. <laughs> All there is left to say is see you in a few laps. Thanks for watching.